it's now more than three months after the elections in Thailand and the Prime Minister has finally been uh, selected, Prime Minister Sreta Tavisin. Um, so as a as a one of the new generation democracy activists in Thailand, how do you feel about this outcome from the latest election? Uh, we are deeply disappointed of how it it has become of of the election result. We felt betrayed by uh, Pua Thai Party because one of uh, one of the campaign during the campaign they were trying to ensure us that they would not have any partnership or any association with the dictatorship or the military uh, military junta parties at all. But as it turned out, you see that they uh, with the, they say that because of the situation forced them to leave the move forward party and to join hand in hand with the uh, military junta parties. So for us, this is another time that democracy fell us. And because of the current constitution that were drafted by the military junta, that's why it has to be like this. There's no way out unless we won by the the largest margin that you could imagine, 350 seats out of uh, 500. That's almost impossible. Over the last three months, as all the 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 uh, negotiations were happening between the different parties, and there was a hope that move forward might still uh, pull together a governing coalition. Uh, there seemed to be some signs that there would be revival of. Uh, the, uh, the 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 street movement for democracy, but now the the with with the election of the new government, things seem to be quite uh, quiet. Can you explain this? The leaders, the major, the main, the mainly most of the leaders, they were on condition on the bail condition that they could not participate or lead another protest. So right now they they're waiting for um 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 big figure from the movement, either the new one emerging or the previous student leaders. But as I say, most of them were on bell, are on bell condition. So they're not allowed to lead the, 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 any movements at the moment. And the people, then most of the people in Thailand, they were tired, exhausted. They were waiting, they, they, most people were waiting, are waiting for the government the, the new one to do something for uh to move the country forward. Uh ironically, even though the the, the the government is formed and the move forward party, it's not part of it. And uh people should be angry and people are angry, but there are also people that would like to give a chance because they still believe that the Thai party has in the past, they have, uh, they they have, uh, they, they 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 have the ability in the past, have proven in the past, that they could lead the country and improve the the economy. So that's what people were hoping for. At the moment, they still have some trust in uh, the Pua Thai Party, even though that 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 hope getting it's wearing out right now. So and... in the in, in the period that uh, led up to finally, you know, um, the Senate, the appointed Senate agreeing with the with the elected Parliament as to the, who could be the new form the new government, there was simultaneously a negotiation for the return of of Putai's, uh, former Prime Minister Thaksin Sinawatra back to Thailand. And how connected are these? two processes you know is it all part of a, a single deal do you think that you know Thaksin would be allowed to come back and have his uh, prison sentence reduced in return for Putai um, making a deal with the pro-military forces well Thaksin couldn't let us believe otherwise he already gave us hints months prior to the election that he would come and they would come back to Thailand and 
uh, he also gave hints as well that when he come back to Thailand, there will be condition for him that he doesn't have to stay in prison for long. So um, it was, it has been his daughter, Petong um, Tan uh, Chinawat, who is um, one of the leaders of the Thai party that she has been denying. She has been denying of, of the deal, but everything fell out. It's, it has proven itself that there must have been that must have been a deal. I, I understand, as you say, many people perhaps are prepared to give Perta a chance, this Perta led government a chance to see if they will deliver some sort of change. One of the challenges I understand will be that in one year's time, the appointed senators uh, or some of them are going to have to retire. And does this uh, present an opportunity to break the undemocratic rule whereby they can uh, use the appointed senators to block future governments? And has Putai leadership suggested that they are prepared to 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 work for uh, getting rid of this uh, undemocratic rigged system? First of all, we we don't know whether we can trust Puyatai again. So many, many of many of the uh many of them have said many of the leaders of Puyatai Party have said before that they would not partner with mm. uh Pumjai Thai Party. And then later on now Pumjai Pai Pumjai Thai Party is the major part of this cabinet. And those leaders, he would he he just came out and say, uh it was just during the campaign. So we'd say whatever to get voters toward us for us and he did resign but then he's still part of the cabinet hmm. so that that's dr Shalanan uh Shalanan Gale. he he's a the current part uh leader of the Thai party he did resign as I say but he still remained in the cabinet so right now the Pua Thai party um Another time, again, yet again, they gave us words that they would try to get rid of the, uh, uh, they try to amend the constitution to have the elect elected uh, senators, to have the election for the senators. But it's still, for me, it's still too soon, too soon to, to, to see, to, to, to even predict that they're going to keep their words. And even if they're going to keep their words, then we as we we can't be too naive to think that they would come up with some conditions, and since they're in partner in partnership with the pro military parties and the previous government, we can't hope for um, the the outcome that would be in our favor. So let's move on to the question of uh, the one one two less majesty laws. Um, I mean, we have a reminder of how terrible this is recently with the 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 thirty year old woman who's uh, on hunger strike under charges. Waruni, I think her name is, and she has to be hospitalized. Um, now, the you know this seemed to be the central issue why Putai said, "Oh well, you know, um, move forward." Couldn't be in the coalition. It was because it had promised to reform these laws, yeah? It didn't, it, uh, so is it very clear now that uh, Puta is saying, no, we are not going to even touch these laws or are they still saying they are going to, you know, in the future, try and change these uh, laws? Um, we don't see it's coming from Puta or under Thai leadership. So um, if, it, if it does happen, if it does become um, a motion in, in a parliament, I believe that, as I say earlier, there would be conditions with conditions, not 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 uh, with honest. It's not gonna be an honest move from Thai. It couldn't be uh, clearer that they have made the deal with the monarchy. That's now, how, because the monarchy, the monarchy, yeah, because yeah, Taksin just received, uh, Taksin Shinawa just received royal pardon. Mm. So his, uh, his sentence reduced to just one year. 
So if uh, now Move Forward Party is going to be part of the opposition, um, do they have the, the, the power to initiate a bill to say reform uh, or reform 112, uh, you know, as a part of the opposition and then put it up there and see if, uh, how much support it gets? Is that a possibility? Yes, and they have given words that they would do so. But um, does I think uh, last month they tried to put a motion to amend the section two seven two, where uh, relating to the uh, senators, the uh, appointed senators, to amend this section alone, and the government, the Thai Party, and and the rest just voted it out saying that it's not important as of now. So um, we expect the response from the government and the rest of the, the parliament to be against the any attempt to amend section 112. Not even not, not to abolish it, but just, just to amend it. That will be a, a, a response, a negative response from, from the government for sure. But, um, to just the, the 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 move forward party did give word to the promise us that they going to try. In, in the past, it was clear between the red and the yellow or the democracy versus the uh the royalist, but now that uh Taksin, who was some sort of um related to democracy leader, the leader from the democracy side bow down to the king, the monarch. And his followers, many of them turn away from him and join the forward party, but some of them uh, still remain loyal to Taksin Shinawat. And they, they provide excuses to him uh, that explain why he has to do this. And now they even come up with the narrative that the yellow shirt were saying, like, the change is not going to happen. You're just going to have to play along. You're just going to have to play by the rules. And now now for me, it couldn't be clearer that we're fighting against new generation versus older generation. Because people my age, people in my, uh, the newer generations could not take this explanation. And, and for us, it's unreasonable. But I do understand that no one should, should have uh, been, shouldn't be forced to leave the country because of a, a political um, uh, legal proceedings that is not fair for him. I do understand that, but that's a double standard. It's not fair for the rest of, of the political uh, prisoners. They didn't get the same treatment. So what are we fighting for here? <laughs>